you guys your mirror's finest and welcome back to my youtube channel and today i want us to learn on what it takes to get pregnant with twins just on one time trial and this is fact-based and it's scientific and i have decided to like divide it into three parts to ensure that it's light and easy to understand so the first one is the biology part on what happens and then the second part will be like the possible side effects too because i'm i'm gonna name prescription medicine and i just want to put it out there this is what will happen this is what the side effects are so that you can watch out for them and then thirdly i will just take us through the regimen on how to do it so pull your seats get a piece of paper and let's get it going so what happens is the human body works like a machine to ensure that two the two ovaries do not produce the eggs in one month so just in case fertilization takes place then it has to be like one child per time not both the two of them and both the two ovaries do not produce no one ovary does not produce more than one egg per time so that's how the body tries to avoid multiple, multiple, multiple order pregnancy at a time. So what happens is there is a follicle stimulating hormone and this hormone works like the boss to this whole process. What it does is it ensures that one ovary, only one ovary emits an egg during a cycle. The other one does not. And it's only one egg that's emitted during a cycle. So I have read what the other ladies do on the internet, different cultures, not necessarily mine alone. What we are working in this whole thing is to ensure that we confuse this follicle stimulating hormone such that it either lets one ovary to produce more than one egg or forces both the two ovaries to produce eggs during one cycle. That way, if these two eggs get fertilized, then they get implanted, and then those are twins. So if one ovary produces one, more than one egg, and then the two get fertilized, and then they get implanted, that is killed. Side effect number one. If you are not fertile on your own, what happens is when you're trying to confuse your body, then the medicine that you will take to confuse your body will help your body conceive instead of making it over perform in the consumption. So what this means is you are going to end up with a single ton, one baby, at the end of the nine months. And if you are in a biology class, then you know that unless you are okay with doing multiple abortions, you don't you don't have more than one trial. You're in, you're in until the end. So side effect number one, if it fails, it's an epic fail. You come out of the whole process with a single time. Very little chances that that will happen, but it may happen. Number two, there is something known as OHSS, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. And this is when you already have like your follicle stimulating hormone and then you just like do another medication that's trying to like confuse that follicle stimulating hormone or reduce it or do something else and you you end up getting stimulated and then you your ovaries like swell up or probably you get sick up to a point where by you getting hospitalized and one thing i decide that one how you will how you'll get around this is these medications that I'm going to suggest, they are prescription medicines, so they need a doctor to write that for you. Continue working with this doctor. Tell them the truth that you're trying to get high order pregnancy, multiple pregnancy, such that if this happens, they are able to like manage you if you end up. It's a little chance, but just in case you have this OHHS, then you have a doctor that you can run to for for help just in case it happens. But there's a place I read online that says if you if you take like a lot of water, drink a lot of water, 
do exercise and like coconut water works perfect, you will have you will not have the symptoms of OHS. HSS, it will not be as bad as someone who doesn't drink water. So a lot of coconut water with you. Number three is this is they are pre prescription medicine and there are chances that some doctors may not want to work with you on that. So some of them say it's not ethical to try like get high order multiples, but if it's what you want, it's what you want. And some doctors are very open to that. They are like, if you want it, you want it. These are the prescription medicine. These are the side effects. I got you. Just in case anything happens to you, run to me and we are okay with this. And how you solve that side effect is ensure you work with the doctor. Ensure you work with the doctor. And if you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below and one thing about one thing about my subscribers if you are my subscribers hit me on my email address and i'm gonna show you how you're gonna get the prescription medicine easily so that's what the benefit of the people who have subscribed to my channel will get so if babe if you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button okay let's get started on the medications that you need so i'm gonna divide this into two sections one of them will be the medication that you'll take during the cycle that you want to get pregnant and the medications that you'll take several cycles before so one of them is folic acid and there are two variations to this there's the folate and then there's the folic acid there are several debates around what you need to go by and you can like go dig that up if you want to there are several like pros and cons to each one of them and folic acid is easy to get it's over the counter you can do the folate or do the folic acid but then if you're doing folic acid then you need five milligrams but if you're doing folate it does have like a different quantity it several thousands but you can google five milligrams of folic acid is how many folate and then you can also do pomegranate juice pomegranate is kukumanga and it's the red fruit that has like seeds inside like that looks like seed the guava seeds but then it that it, they are red in color and they help with the lining so and you also what you'll do, pomegranate juice, vitamin E, bromelain. Bromelain, you can take the, the, um, the pills and aspirin and one drop, one dropper full of black hole. That, those, the ones that I've mentioned before, after, they are especially very necessary if you have like issues to conceive. So they help the lining and they help with implantation. So I'll repeat is, pomegranate, vitamin A, bromelain, aspirin, and black hole. Those ones, you'll take them from CD. When I say CD1, I mean cycle day number one, all the way to cycle day number 12, or at that point, you feel that you have, you have gotten to ovulation. So bromelain, bromelain, and black hole, you will start at ovulation. Let me take you back pomegranate and vitamin a help with lining so you'll take them from cd1 cycle day number one to ovulation but then bromelain aspirin and black hole you'll take them starting ovulation to five day post ovulation ovulation or six day post ovulation and they help with implantation because the implantation works after ovulation and then if you also have tried if 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 you have gone through a miscarriage before or you are at that age you feel that miscarriage is could be a, uh, something for you that you should you should get worried about then you need progesterone and that's also prescription based so a doctor has to write them for you and you can start it after ovulation all the way to 12 weeks and so let's go back to the prescription medicine which is the main part over here which is the main part over here so let's go through the prescription medicine. 
and you can either do Clomid or Femara. There are so many debates on the internet about which one is safer, which one you need to go by. But then one thing that I've read is Clomid works better than Femara. But then it has more side, there are chances of side effect. The chances of side effects for Clomid is higher than Femara. But then I will go right ahead and share the whole with you what you need to do with Clomid. Effects I'm okay with ovarian hyper stimulation syndrome. If it happens, it happens. I'm just gonna breeze it through. And one of the side effects is you're not gonna die. You're just going to go through pain. So if you go the Clomid way, you need 10 Clomid tablets, two of them every day, starting day number three. If your period started today, you'll skip tomorrow. Day number three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, and day number seven, two of them. And then you'll wait until ovulation and then you'll start, you, you'll continue taking the folic acid up all the way to ovulation. And after ovulation, you then you'll start bromelain and the rest. But then if you are interested in the lower, it has lower side effects, but then there is like an 80% chance of multiples with it. It's called Femara, it's safer. But then I've read online and then there are several articles that talk about the um, use of high dose femara to trigger high order multiples in pregnancies. And femara is normally used to like reduce, reduce oxytocin or reduce the female hormone. So if it reduces the female hormones, then probably it's going to like reduce breast cancer and stuff. It's used to treat breast cancer or it's used to like, it's a fertility drug. So it's used to increase fertility on the people who have issues conceiving. But if you wanna use it to get your twins, this is what you do. Cycle day number one, you take 2.5 milligrams of Femara. That's one pill. It's one pill. One pill is 2.5 milligrams of Femara. So cycle day number one, you take one. Cycle day number two, you take one pill again. Cycle day number three, you take three pills of Femara. That's 7.5 milligrams. The reason why it's higher on cycle day number three, it's because there's a thinking that that's the point when the follicles start growing or the eggs start growing. So at that point, you jumpstart, you confuse the follicle stimulating hormone to like go haywire and like start developing several of them and confuse the two ovaries and all ovaries start like developing the egg and release it. Cycle day number four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's all the way from three to nine. You go down to two pills. Remember, cycle day number one was one pill. Cycle day number two was one pill. Number three, you went high to three pills. And then four all the way to nine, you go back down to two pills. So as you are taking the Femara, it works hand in hand with another prescription medicine known as Menopa. Menopa is an injection that's normally done on the tummy and some people go without it. But then as I told you before, this whole process is a hit or a miss. So if you are gonna skip it, then you know you have a 50% chance at this. But then if you are going in, then you have to go in strong. So on cycle odd days, on odd days starting day number five. So if we are going to count the odd days, then it's day number five, skip number six, seven, skip number eight, nine, skip number 10, 11. So on odd cycle days, you starting day number five all the way to 11 you are going to do 150 ius of menopa they are injections and then one thing again is on cycle day number 10 you're gonna do 75 iu of menopa 
So putting the whole pieces together, you will do 150 on day five, skip number six, 150 on day seven, skip number eight, 150 on day number nine, 10 you go down to 75, and then 11 you go up to 150. I use of menopause. And then, depending on what your ovulation day is, ladies normally tend to know when they are ovulating. You start to, ha to have those like lower tummy pains and you can feel that you are ovulating. Then you need to do the trigger because the human body will sense all these medications and it will try to like salvage the whole process by missing on ovulation. So the body will be like, no, this month, the follicle stimulating hormone went haywire. It didn't do what it was supposed to do. So what are we going to do? Correct it. So how do we correct it? By missing ovulation. So it will start to like skip the ovulation during that time. And what you're going to do is you're going to trigger ovulation by using a HCG trigger. And you're going to use 10,000 IU of trigger on your ovulation day. If your ovulation is, if your cycle is 30 days, then you're ovulating on day 16. If your ovulation is 28 days, then you're ovulating around day 14. And if your ovulation is, is 28 days, if your cycle is 28 days or 21 days, then you're probably at day 12. But normally people are between day 12 and day 16. Once you start to hear those pains, time to do the trigger. So let's put the pieces together. Let's make this easy to consume. So before you start your cycle, your medication cycle, you're going to take some vitamins that will help with your egg quality, follicle acid, eat healthy, exercise, drink water, coconut water, pomegranate. And then on your cycle days, cycle day one and two, you're going to take one pill per day of femara. So we started the cycle days, the month that you're deciding that this is the month of conception. Then day one and day two, every day you'll take one pill of femara. Day three, you'll take three pills of femara. Remember, you're just trying to jumpstart the, the whole production of eggs and confuse the follicle stimulating hormone. So you go to three pills. And then day four, all the way to day nine, you'll take two pills of Mara, which is five milligrams of Mara. While you're doing this day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, when you get to day five, you start menopause, which is an injection, and you do it on even days. Day five, you skip six, seven, you skip eight, nine, you skip 10, 11. You do 150 IUs of menopause. And then day 10, you do 75 IU of menopause. So day 9, you'll do 2 femara and 150 IU of menopause. Day 10, you'll do 75 of menopause and only. And day 11, you'll do 75 of... No, day 11, you'll do 150 IU of menopause. And then you'll just wait until your ovulation day. And then you'll do the trigger. It's an injection. So hopefully this works for you and call us for the baby shower. And meanwhile, the subscribe button below and we're wishing you all the best in this. And next I'm going to do a video on how to sway the gender or your baby. It's 100% effective. So I'm going to like continue digging on the information and then I'll just put up a video of this. How to do like a boy or God's sway. I'll do both the two of them in one video. And I wish you all the best and hopefully this works for you and see you next time. It's your girl Nyamira's finest.